Hi there boys, welcome back to this channel. It's been a long time since I've posted a video but uh, I have something really cool to show you that I'm excited about. Uh, Devlog is coming soon but until then you gotta see this. I've been working on a custom skin system, you probably know about it from Discord or from Steam. I probably mentioned it a lot of times and uh, I finally got to do it. So let's jump right into it. Let's select a weapon, whatever. I'll select this one. And now, for some of the weapons and for some of the attachments, you will be able to find this green button here. This is a new button. Let's take, for example, uh, the weapon skin and open this menu. You can see this message here saying that you have to select from this dr skin drop down the custom skin. And let's do that. Once you select the skin, you can see uh, on the gun that uh, the base material just changed to uh, an empty one. It's like a null one with no texture into it. So let's open this menu again. And you can see here, uh, you have some uh, values to play with, like the metallic smoothness or the normals. And uh, there are some buttons and some input fields. Let's go f uh, first, uh, which is most importantly, I've made this very friendly for beginners. So like, perhaps you don't want to download normals or download the gun or download the textures and create your own normals and stuff. And perhaps you just want to add some patterns to your gun or whatever. You can press this button, which means lo it loads the default texture like the stock texture of the gun but uh, uh, not for the base map but only for the metallic and the normal you can do that because that gives some detail let's uh, load the normal too you can see this gun already has some very good shape the details here are looking good you can do the same for the detail normal here As you can see, the details increase or decrease, whatever. I uh, personally, for every gun and every attachment, I use the detail normally. It just makes it better. Like, look how it looks without it. And look how it looks. Look how it looks with it. Pretty good. Okay, from here, assuming you are not uh, passionate about the... Uh, like uh, reskinning weapons and creating your own normal you could just uh, load the default and now you can like I don't know go on Google wait let me prepare a Google image uh, tab and texture now you once you go here on Google you can like I don't know write whatever you want some patterns some or no mm, I'll take this one you could just copy image address now going back to game and put it in the base map you paste it and you load and now you have your own skin As you can see here, with the normal and the met the default metallic, the gun looks pretty good. Like this is as beginner friendly as it can be. But for if you want a more deep skin, you can like uh, get the gun. Uh, however, not now, but uh, when uh, we will make available all the guns and all uh, uh, the attachments from the game. So you could download it in the Discord, get the base texture and uh, add it into a, a, an actual uh, retexturing software such as Substance Painter, for example. But until then, you could just mess with random textures or if you're not uh, passionate about uh, retexturing, you could just do this and uh, have some fun with your custom local skin. Uh, you could uh, even change emissions if you want. Let's I don't know, 
take another texture. Let's take this one. You can even put it in the emissions map here. Now let's give it some intensity. Now you see we have an emissions map. Or uh, you could press X to uh, delete it. I usually don't use emissions. And now you can do this for like every part of the weapon that has this available. For example, the stock handle or the st uh, the gun stock. We could just load the default here, the stock metallic, the stock normal, and the stock detail normal map. Uh, you can see it's not reflected on the gun because we haven't selected our custom local skin from here. Oh, I'm sorry, I uh, selected it accidentally for uh, the handle. Let's select it f for the stock. So you can see this was just applied with the, n the default textures. I can take them off if, if uh, I'm going to see again. So this is the gun with the stock with no textures. This is the, the stock with uh, the default textures. Now we could do the same for this. I don't know. Let's run take a wooden texture. Let's make it uh, like a floor. The image address and load it here. If it doesn't work, it means there's a problem with the image or with the link, it, it's not accessible. I've got this error a couple of times. For example, I took from Dropbox and uh, it didn't work. You could use some other website for hosting. I will give you examples in the Discord. Let's uh, try this one. As you can see, this one worked. Well, it doesn't look great. Because, you know, there uh, to make a great texture, you have to actually get the, the texture and uh, like stamp in Substance Painter. So for the stock, this is not really going to work. It, it looks kind of ugly. However, you could uh, use the same textures as uh, uh, for the base gun and I think it will look pretty decent mm, Let's use this one again See not too bad even though here it should be metal and stuff not looking too bad You can do the same and copy this texture again. You can do the same for the mag and for a variety of items I'm loading this, loading the default metallic and normals. Let me select it. Now we have the same for the mag. And so on. There are many attachments that uh, many attachments and skins that have this available right now. Not all of them, but we will be working on the clock to make them all because this is the we we finally uh, getting to the modding part. You know the game is called open mod, but uh, uh, right now we are starting to actually make it moddable. Um, I think it's available for this site too. Custom local skin. Load the defaults, and we can do the same. Paste the same texture here. You can see this, for example, this uh, ecog here has uh, two materials, one base material, and there is one separate material for the mount. We do the same for this. We load the default textures. 
then we load this texture and that's how we have our own skin for beginners for deeper skins be my guest i can wait to see your guys ideas in the future when the in the close future when the attachments all attachments and all guns will be available in discord to download and reskin properly let's do the same for this handle i already did though it wasn't uh, it's not uh, too far away all right now we have it the full gun is now looking like we wanted with a random image from the internet and do some playing you can see it here doesn't look too bad huh well this is what i wanted to show you guys today i hope you like it i'm very excited about this this is the best thing ever <laughs> i'll see you on the devlog and on the discord don't forget to join our discord see you around guys have a great one <laughs>